push this button. Because that will set off the bomb immediately and we'll all be dead. Now repeat back what I just said. It's been three years since James Gunn first brought the Guardians of the Galaxy into the MCU, and Bradley Cooper's Rocket Raccoon is a clear fan favourite. Let's take a look at the history behind everyone's favourite trigger-happy trash panda. Oh, yeah. It's likely that sometime in 1976, comic writers Bill Mantlo and Keith Giffen were sat listening to the curiously titled Beatles track, Rocky Raccoon, when creativity struck, and they decided to develop a character based on the song. It's not just Rocket Raccoon's name that references the popular song. There are tons of allusions to the Beatles in Rocket Raccoon's comic appearances, like this issue of The Incredible Hulk. We can see the Beatles' influence when we compare the comic's title to the opening lines of Rocky Raccoon. Now, somewhere in the black holes of Sirius Major, there lived a young boy named of Rocket Raccoon. The first iteration of Rocket was a very different version to the cranky little gunslinger that MCU fans know and love. Rocket was originally British, another possible reference to the Beatles, and lived in an era set 10,000 years after Marvel's main continuity. To explain Rocket Raccoon's origin as we know him now, we have to go back to the creation of Half-World, a planet created by a humanoid race to house those driven insane by a contagious virus. These people were unflatteringly nicknamed the Loonies, and intelligent animals were created by the humanoid scientists to entertain and look after the inmates while the scientists were away. Among these enhanced animals were Rocket Raccoon, the planet's chief of security, and Walrus, yet another Beatles reference. Rocket's ongoing story varies from writer to writer, but the basic idea is he lands himself in prison where he then meets the other lovable fan favourite, Groot. I'm Groot. You said that. We are not told much about Rocket's backstory in the movie Guardians of the Galaxy, but we get a glimpse from Rocket's passing comments. I didn't ask to get made! I didn't ask to be torn apart and put back together over and over and turned into some... some little monster! Rocket, no one's calling you a monster. Maybe his MCU origin isn't too dissimilar to the comics after all, and Rocket truly is alone in the galaxy. <laughs> 